An army truck was ambushed by terrorists in Poonch district of Jammu and Kashmir. This is the second attack on the army in the region in less than a month. There are reports of heavy firing following the ambush as reinforcements were rushed to the area to neutralize the attackers. Sources say that the army vehicles were ambushed at Dera Ki Gali or DKG in Surankot area of Poonch district. Last month, remember, soldiers including two captains were killed in an ambush after army and its special forces launched an anti-terrorist operation in the Rajari district of Jammu and Kashmir. In the last two years, more than 35 army troopers have been killed during encounters with terrorists uh, in the area. My colleague Nasir Masoodi uh, joins us over the phone with the latest. Uh, Nasir, tell us the latest that you're hearing in terms of uh, the reports from this site. Well, the pictures of this attack tell a very disturbing story. And it appears that, uh, you know, uh, you know, because uh, the one gypsy and an army truck have been ambushed. And uh, it has, they have pierced, these bullets have pierced into the vehicle, which clearly shows uh, uh, militants may have used steel core bullets, which are used to, you know, attack the bulletproof vehicles. Uh, so it's not first time they have done it before. And again, uh, the major attack on army vehicle, this time it was two, ve two vehicles, one a uh, gypsy in which one officer was traveling and other soldiers and other in an uh, army truck which was following several other soldiers were traveling in and you can see they are you know there's this magazine scattered there and then you know reinforcement was rushed there there are reports of casualties uh, different number is being you know put by different people but we are not saying anything unless army officially confirms this again shows that how army is is giving sacrifice in their fight against militancy. Last month, five soldiers, including four special forces personnel, two captains were killed and, and in an encounter and or, or ambush in, in Kalakot area. After that, two militants attackers were killed, according to Army's top co commander, that they were highly trained, trained in Pakistan and Afghanistan and maybe other countries, and that they were battle hardened. And Army's top commander, Northern Command Chief, uh, General, uh, Lieutenant General Upendra Devedi has also said that there were 20 to 25 foreign terrorists operating in this particular region, which are very, very, very disturbing because this area was free from militancy. And now if this huge number of foreign terrorists are operating in this area, it is a very, very disturbing news given the fact, the topography, the terrain, dense forests. And if you see today these pictures where this these vehicles, army vehicles, have been targeted. It is between Bafliyaz and, and Suren uh, Bafliyaz and uh, Dera Kigali. Just, you know, last month I was traveling on this road. This is under construction. It is very difficult actually to travel on this road because uh, it is not smooth and it is hilly. There are, you know, forests on both the sides. Um, terrain is not easy. So they have taken advantage of the situation and carried out this major, major attack. And as you already mentioned, there have been several casualties on the army over the last few years. And this year alone, there were major attacks first in on the army, first in April. And then again in May, within two weeks, there were two major attacks in which 10 soldiers were killed. And last month, there was another major attack uh, in this very, in this particular area. And today, one very, very what is termed as a very big attack where several casualties are feared.